Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. Science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team. And that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue. Yeah. You decide you want to fight mixed martial arts. It's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab. It always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has an ability to switch stances from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, it's no. unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Jean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois. Bad intention. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Hound dog. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. So we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. You get it in the He lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big head kick lands. Nice punch lands over the top. Lands a big right hand early. Jabs. 
dig and kick. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, he comes right back to his face. Oh, big knee! He got him. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Really timing his show. Oh! Hook shot lands. Oh, wow! Head kick! Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Big leg kick land. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out! Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Well, that body kick was there earlier. Not there on that attempt. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. And then you're in a lot of trouble. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Big punch lands through the middle. Big leg kick lands. every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Ooh. Both guys landing in a pretty decent clip. Oh, nice jab. Nice straight punch. Jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Thirty seconds to go now. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Fifteen seconds. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. You take more of these leg kicks. No! Oh, huge right hand! Round two coming up next. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, hey. 
if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Leg Both kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to this one. Didn't like that left hand. the right hand there. Lands the right hand. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Oh! Running fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Beautiful strike. Real quick leg kick. Whiffs on that offering. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, oh! And we got a fight on our hands. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Good. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Oh. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches. Oh, huge elbow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, collar tie. And they set. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. What a punch. Whiffs on the straight right hand. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Beautiful punch. Look at the force behind oh. that leg. Look at that. He's in trouble. It's over. It's over. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 4 minutes, 19 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout! And intense. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.
All right, coming up next is the UFC middleweight division fight. Chasing a bitch, I'm chasing a dream. Oh damn, look what they made of the team. You know the I know why they jealous, I be on the type of stuff they never seen. You know the Whole level, I shit on the and ain't even mean. Whoa, whoa, young blow all my spinning milli make back. Whoa, man, up off all of us. I don't need a gotta back. Whoa, running, I get it, stacking, I spin it. You know the routine. You know the routine. Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. This guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills. If I had the ability to mix the target as well as he does. When he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, though. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. Both fighters are 32 with similar height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Bye. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 182 pounds. Fighting out of Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island, Canada, Jackson! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 183 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, international. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner.
right, so we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. One more time. Yeah. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at the grip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beating his leg up. Oh, just misses with the kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. And they separate. Good defense to block the strike coming down. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Good punch. Big leg kick lands. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Got the single collar tie. Nice kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Give me those kicks. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. A little single collar tie there. Good stick. So, a good sign that he was able to get that front kick to the desired target. He was able to get it to the target, and in these moments, you realize what type of striker we're watching. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. There's no give on that leg kick. He landed the right hand there. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Yeah, he's mixed it all up. And there comes the separation now. 
Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Great punch landed with so much power. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Nice, sneaky head kicks. Oh, nice. Just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting it over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? Visibly limping here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. That uppercut later. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Watch the shot. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. Oh, big punch land. And they clinch once again. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 37 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by Knockout International. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by now. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined. All right, coming up next, it's the UFC middleweight division fight.
up next in the UFC middleweight division fight. takedown artist in the UFC at present, and when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot speed from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the cage. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range. Hitting you with the beautiful jab. Staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. If you just see fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Gaffney, South Carolina, the Enforcer. And now if you see his opponent fighting at the red corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 180 pounds, Gonzalez. Okay, protect we'll yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this? Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Beautiful body kick.
Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. He is throwing a fast, straight car jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Oh, lands that punch. Takedown defense holds up. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Powerful leg kick lands. Big kick lands. Oh. Straight punch lands. Oh. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. How about that chin? Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Gonzalez. Tags him with the left. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, but the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Nice loop and punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Collar tie now. Huge knee lands to the clinch. And he switches to southpaw here yet again. Stuffs the takedown, no problems. Boy, tie plump. There's no tell on that leg kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And he that comes knee, through with a big hit. That knee hurt him. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Right on the button. Keep it busy here on the clinch. 20 seconds left. Yeah, left hook found his target. Oh! Trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just... How about those five minutes? All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, second round underway. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch.
both guys really throwing with authority. That was a nice strike. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe. Oh! Big knee there to the chest. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Whiffs on the straight right hand. No! Oh! Huge right hand! Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Unable to land with that punch. Slips the punch. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Close guard. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, right in the mount. And he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Good punch, Land. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC is to look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 58 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout, Gonzalez. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory. Because I'm on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. You got shit on me. Touch the sky, but you ain't got shit on me. I'm on top of the world. Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. Still dangerous, goodness gracious, move like the Gracie brothers. brothers. You'll pay me something. Brothers. Fed everybody, they don't save me nothing. None. Still back to the bone from fetus. Then uh -huh. my move misleading. Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight.
excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, he starts to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. I didn't see, I didn't see anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Cole Harbor, Nova Scotia, Canada, Big Daddy. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Kansas City, Missouri, USA, Dynamite. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. Whoa! Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Big kick land. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single hollow tie. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Just missed with the elbow there. This massive knee lands from the tight punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice jab 
by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. He's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. Slips the punch. a big right hand but doesn't find its home that D that D hurt him look is there again oh he lands a huge knee to the body that's a crippling shot there trying to hammer that lead leg right hand punch the clinch Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Punch over the top. Wow. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Push kick there to the body. Nice hook. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick. Yeah. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Big call punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look how quickly he gets that foot to the target. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. And a nice left hand there on the inside. The right punches there. with one of those knees to the body. 30 more seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. 20 seconds left. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. 10 seconds now to go on the round. Oh! Huge right hand! Round two winding down. Stop, stop, stop. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. He has a oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. 
given more than one strike, you have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Wow! Straight right. Try to establish that jab. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Misses with that punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big legs. Oh. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 30 seconds of round number 2. Join the winner by knockout, Big Daddy. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that would be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations. Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into these, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the US. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. The American is 30. The Canadian is 32. He is one inch taller. He will have a one inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. 
And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 183 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, international. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, bad intention. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Trying the flying knee there. Single collar tie there. Can they separate? Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Takedown defense holds up. Try to establish that jab. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right times to land those strikes. Oh, spinning fastest. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Just a slip there. Look at him drive his hand into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big hog punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, oh. head kick lands. He's hurt. He's got him hurt here. Oh. Under three minutes to go in round one. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. What a tricky head kick. Efficient with that jab. Doubles up on it now. The distance gets the single collar tie. Right hand punches the clinch. And they separate. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Wow! Ooh, What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. And he landed the right hand there. And really starting to make these shots count. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. 
Back to the feet now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Straight right hand, no good. Beautiful hit. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Bad. And he comes through with a big knee. Big right hand. Oh, and he caught the kick. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Not there. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. 20 seconds left. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Final seconds here of round one. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Over and over, he's landed these big body hits. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice. Right punches there. Oh! Use her. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Oh, yeah. Look at the walk on his feet. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to start to He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Back to the jab now, no good. Ooh.
That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> nice loop and punch. Big elbow there, Lance. Man! Oh. He's got him right here. Oh, another one. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up for the strike. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and defeat Oh! He's out! Yeah! Whoa! That was nasty! What a performance! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 35 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by Knockout International. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory. Division fight. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body, but it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in place to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, 
This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Cole Harbor, Nova Scotia, Canada, Big Daddy. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 180 pounds. Gonzalez! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, about your corners, come out fighting. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Today. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Big elbow there, Lance. Nice one. Able to check that kick as well. Oh! Outstanding kick there by Gonzalez. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Gonzalez going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Oh! Strikes here to see this could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're a chop guy, you gotta get to the finish. Continue the game process and bring down six strikes in your point. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back in range. Kick the leg out. Ooh. Straight right, he misses. Battling for hooks. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Good. Hook shot lands. Real nice body. And they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. We'll see if he can finish. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt.
liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night with that landed. Very tricky when he throws that body. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. Oh, that's a nice strike. That was a jab. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll be good. He thought it would be available. He just... Oh! What an end to round one. All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless... Pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. Falls it up with a nice right hand. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Relentless pressure from the top by Gonzalez. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt? Oh! He's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arm. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon into the mat or if you're going to give your back up where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Checks that leg kick. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Well, he's really big. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big head kick land. Well, straight right hand. Oh! Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Gonzalez's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Push, push, push. 
Oh, collar tie. Effective strike there by Gonzalez. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Single collar tie now. Good job keeping that head. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very oh. close. should be disappointed in their performance. All right, let's go inside the octagon now to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano is going to stop this contest at four minutes, 20 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Big Daddy. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that'd be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations. I'm home and purchase some things that I know when I feel my needs. Have a dose of what I've achieved and get lonesome and I critique who I am and what I believe. Make up standards too high to reach. All right, coming up next, this highly anticipated matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. up for the UFC middleweight division title. So 
here is the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run a rough shot through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge to date. tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age with the same height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Cole Harbor, Nova Scotia, Canada, presenting the challenger, Big Daddy. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 183 pounds. Body out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, international. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That landed clean. Oh, big left. Nice defense there. Huge block. Good. There it is. There it is. Unable to connect there. Big body kick land. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Counter jab snaps the head back. That'll get his attention. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. The right hand. Oh! Counter jab, snaps the head back. That should get his attention. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Good right here. Oh, could be in trouble after that knee to the head. Minutes to go in the round. Oh, 
good defense to block the strike coming back. Lanza glancing right hand up serves. Left right combo is good. Just out of range with that strike. Oh. That body's done, man. Body's done. Huge shots there. tie here. Just out of range with that right hook. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Try to establish that jab. Ooh, blocks the shot. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Got clip with the right hand. And there comes the separation now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Straight right, he misses. Good stick. Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet! Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. So that's the end of the round. He got cut on his eyebrow in that round. This bears watching moving forward. Not the worst location for it necessarily, but the cut man's got to get in there and prevent that cut from bleeding and trickling down into the eye. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging then when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon. Leg kick. Oh! Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Oh, knee strike right to the bottom. Nice strike to the midsection glances. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising and it's only getting worse. What a punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big kick lands. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. 
just unable to quite find that range. And both guys really throwing with authority. Great punch landing with so much power. Caught that kick there. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, yeah. Single collar tie now. Three minutes to go in round two. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Jab. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Nice punch here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big knee there to the chest. Ooh, head kick lands. It's hurt. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. What a point. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice punch, Lance. Caught the kick. Big left hook coming. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Unable to land with that punch. All right, single collar tie now. And they set. Oh! Ball. All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, let's check out some of the action DC. And how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad.
flips the punch nicely there. Oh! 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 What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> They heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Nice body to run up the over. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Just over three minutes now to go. Misses with that. He didn't like that. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Flips the shot. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here oh, in this round. Holy smoke, he put him to sleep. Oh, big diving punch lands up top. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Mercifully, by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched Glove. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. Because both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 47 seconds in the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world international. And still the king of the 185 pounders. There he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after the knockout tonight in his title defense. And that's got to feel pretty good. There were a lot of people backing the number one contender coming in here tonight. But he certainly muted all of that noise and then some. The celebration is on in the corner. Congratulations to the reigning defending, still undisputed, UFC middleweight champion of the world.